Good morning. Good morning. It is an amazing day outside. I hope you all are having a good one so far. What do you think about the black wheels on the truck? I gotta say, I love it. Now I get it, it's still a Honda Ridgeline, it's still not the coolest truck out there, but for a few hundred bucks, because I didn't get new wheels or anything, I just got my original ones powder coated, I feel like it just sets the truck off. But of course, I wanna get your guys' opinion, make sure it's approved by you, that's the only thing that matters anyway. You know, I don't think I get excited about anything as much as I do when I find old music. It just takes me back to a certain place in time, especially for myself. Some of you guys know this. I used to make, we'll call it music, uh, but I used to write songs back in the day and they were terrible. But the cool part is, is I was writing down my thoughts and what I was feeling at the time so I can go back and listen to when I was working a minimum wage job. Or Got this summer job working at the pool. Or when I was going through a lot of different things, spending a lot of time in the hospital. Dodge obstacles, walking through hospitals. Be odds that they said were impossible. See where I was at mentally versus where I'm at today. See how far I've come. And it's just really neat, even though it's kind of hard to listen to even for myself. So I would urge you guys, regardless of how you want to do it, YouTube, music, journaling, whatever, document. You will want to go back and, and reflect on your thoughts at some point. I promise you. I just, I cannot stress that enough. But I am doing a little bit of meal prep here. So you guys know, getting my oatmeal ready, 50 grams of PS Select Protein, 80 grams of oats every single day. And then I just, for the, the one that I'm gonna eat the next day, I put it in the microwave for about three minutes and it makes like this cake consistency. Then I will actually reheat it tomorrow when I get to work and it is so good. I'm telling you guys, I've, I've heard a lot of success stories with that one. Making up a few sweet potatoes and obviously you guys know I have my icon meals. I keep it very, very simple. If you guys want me to go back and do like an old school meal prep video, let me know. Uh, medium cold brew, please. Cold brew. Okay, did you want anything in there, huh? It's 2 o'clock. I've had no caffeine today. Drinking decaf coffee this morning, believe it or not. So this is going to be a nice little treat. Perfect. Thank you. You need a receipt, huh? No, thank you. So you only want to drink a little bit of this because I am going to show you a secret that might change your life forever. Mixing in the Select Cafe with cold brew. I just, I don't even have the words, guys. This has been my favorite combination of all time. I'm gonna try to do this very strategically because I also wanna post this to Instagram. So, try to record this on my phone and on my camera. Struggles, guys. A little boomerang action. Let's see how this works. Oh, no. No, dang it. Now we do my favorite combination of all time, caffeine. Listening to rap music, Kevin Gates, new CD, I'm a fan. And also what I like to do is scroll through my phone. I like to see who's watching my Instagram stories and then go onto your profile and start liking your pictures just to let you know that I'm paying attention and let you know that I appreciate you guys hanging out with me out on the interweb, so. Guys, that combination, it sends me from really, really liking life to really, really, really liking life a lot. Man, I'm ready. So I am going to take some high volume. Obviously, I'm not going to be mixing it in the coffee, so I'm just going to, we should just try to dry scoop this. Shout out to Remington. Woo. to do a little bit of direct shoulder work at the gym today and my body was just like nah not happening it felt awful but even though that's kind of discouraging a few months ago I wouldn't have even thought to try so maybe that means I'm getting a little bit better maybe it just means I'm getting stupid and, and impatient or maybe a little bit of both I don't know but either way at least we're gonna make up for it tonight I typically never look forward to these big food challenges or cheat meals or anything like that but you guys know how much I love Whole Foods even though it's pretty expensive, but the food is just so good, and you know it's real because I drove so far out of my way to come here. Typically, I would never do that. Usually, the places you see me go are the ones that are on my way home from the gym, but this is way far out of the way, and I have to drive even farther back home, but I think it's gonna be worth it. So here's about 20 bucks of health.
I'm doing really well. Could I have a pound of the honey and sriracha Brussels sprouts? Sure. You know, those are the best Brussels sprouts on earth. I couldn't leave without my Brussels sprouts. It wasn't happening. This right here, this is art. I cannot wait for this. And if you somehow think that we're leaving here without Whole Foods cookies, you don't know me very well. Did not think that went through very well. I didn't park in the Whole Foods parking lot because I thought you had to have a Chevy Volt or a Prius in order to do so. And then I have to walk all the way back here. Man, life is difficult. You ever notice that the people that work at Whole Foods are a lot cooler than the people that shop there? How is that? Try this again, note to self, the mic doesn't work unless you turn it on. So I was just saying, I tried the sushi really, really good. It was only $8.99, which is the same price as Kroger. I know Whole Foods gets a really bad rap for how expensive it is, and it is more expensive than a lot of places, but think about what you get. Like last weekend, I did the $50 fast food challenge, and it was about the same amount of food roughly, and this stuff is actually food and it tastes a lot better, and the, all of this was $70. And 57 cents. So yes, a little bit more pricey, but you definitely get what you pay for. Now, to be honest with you guys, I have no idea what chicken marsala is, but it just looks pretty cool. Wow. Whatever it is, it is delicious. We also have a little bit of pulled barbecue beef here. I'm telling you guys, just the quality of this food, so good. Let's see how much this was. So this was right at about a pound for $9. Again, $9 a pound, yeah, a little bit pricey, but a decent amount of food, and I'm not gonna make you watch me eat all these Brussels sprouts, but Whole Foods Brussels sprouts, the honey sriracha. Oh my gosh, this is just, this makes me so happy. This was definitely worth the drive. You know what I wish? I wish I could do a giveaway in every single video on that last food challenge. I, I said all you have to do is leave a comment, and I got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments. Like, why can't this be every single video. I love reading through the comments, man. Leave a comment on this video right now. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts about whole food in general. Let me know your experience with it. Do you think it's worth the price? Do you think it's just a bunch of marketing? Let me know. I have no idea why I'm wearing these rubber bands around my wrist. You guys remember that song back in the day? So again, this was about a pound, which ended up being about nine bucks, and I got fish, tater tots, mac and cheese, and wings, so not terrible. Tater tots were pretty good. I've been picking at those. I don't think I've ever had their mac and cheese. Oh yeah, all this stuff, freshly made, I believe, every single day, never disappoints. Gonna try some of this. I don't even know what kind of fish it is. I'm not sure. It tastes very healthy, as I would expect, but it's funny because a lot of times, you know, Whole Foods get this rap, gets this rap for being so healthy which, I mean, it's better quality food, but the macros on this are probably not very good, especially stuff like this, these wings. So people go to Whole Foods, I think, thinking that they're gonna lose all this weight, and you guys know, at least most of you probably know if you're watching this video, like, that does not mean you're gonna be able to hit your fitness goals just because it's from Whole Foods, but I will say, it, it is high quality. Higher, I can't talk. You know, the problem is, is when I'm hungry, I try to talk even faster so I can eat, and then my mind just like mumbo jumbo, but the wings, very decent. Do you know that some people like to watch me eat every single bite of the food? But guys, editing that is just painful. It is so boring. There's nothing entertaining that you can do with it. I just, I don't even know if I can handle it anymore. Whole Foods pizza is so good. It is super, super thin. So if you like thick crust, you might not like this too much. But it kind of goes back to the whole point is, is this really healthier than anything else? I guess it depends on what your definition of healthy is. Because it's super thin, it might be lower in calorie. But other than that, I mean, it's still got cheese, crust, all that. So I've never had this one. This is the margarita. You know, it doesn't have that much flavor, to be honest with you. And I think because I microwaved it, it got a little bit soggy. So the best way to eat this one is probably going to be folded up. Meh. 
Not overly impressed. I mean, there's there's no such thing as bad pizza, but I probably wouldn't buy this again. Now I'm moving on to something I'm very familiar with, their veggie pizza. I can tell you, it's really, really good. And the pizza's two for $7, so a little bit on the pricey side, especially when you go to like New York City and you can get dollar pizza, which I fell in love with. I thought that was awesome. This doesn't taste as good and it's not as cheap, obviously, but I would say it's probably a little bit higher quality. You got real vegetables on there, so that's pretty cool. Cajun sweet potato fries, phenomenal. I get these on lunch quite often. The potato latke, is that, is that how you say it? I've never had this before. The guy at the front desk, or front desk, the guy at the deli was telling me that it's a Jewish thing, I think, so I figured I'd give it a go. Wow, that is really, really good. This is like a, it's like a potato pancake and the macros are pretty decent on it. 10 fat, 36 carb, and six protein. I'll definitely pick this up again. Not to mention, this thing was only 96 cents, 5.99 a pound. Definitely worth 96 pounds. And then the sweet potatoes were, let's see, 5.71 a pound. I thought I was gonna eat the whole pound, but with all this like quote unquote clean food, it's not gonna happen. There's just too much volume in my stomach. I guess I could, but what's the point? I am full. Not in a bad way. It's not like I feel sick or anything like that. I feel pretty satisfied. Feel pretty good. But I think that's the biggest difference between eating foods like this, clean food versus like fast food or any of that other junk. It's just the way that you feel. Last weekend when I did that fast food challenge, I was full, but I felt like death. There was like grease leaking out of my pores. It was disgusting. And that is why I prefer this kind of food. Not only am I going to get full, once I do, I'm not gonna feel terrible. Whereas fast food, you know, you're either not gonna eat enough and you won't ever feel full, or if you do, you just feel like you just made some terrible decisions. And for the people that say $70 at Whole Foods is not gonna get you far, that's a lot of food. I don't think that I can eat it all. I still have half of these sweet potatoes I don't think I'm gonna get to. I might get through all these Brussels sprouts, we'll see. And I forgot I haven't even touched this thing yet. Oh my gosh. I feel like I have to at least try it for you guys. Grilled chicken teriyaki rice bowl. Get the macros on this. Only four fat, 100 carb, and 41 protein. That's pretty decent. So let me try out this teriyaki chicken for you. It's definitely pretty good. And then I'm guessing like the white rice and the vegetables, just plain old food. Not too bad at all. And this was nine bucks, but again, I don't I don't think that's bad for what you get. I'll, I'll pick at this a little bit, but I don't think I'm gonna be finishing this with the rice and the vegetables with everything else that's in my stomach. I feel like we gotta move on to something a little bit um, more easily digestible. So, I think I've had almost every cookie at Whole Foods and they're all fantastic, I'm not gonna lie to you. So I got a wide range of things to try for you guys in case anyone out there is actually curious. Let's start with worst first, which is the sugar cookie. Don't get me wrong, it's good, but yeah. I mean, it's a cookie, it's a little bit dry. Probably wouldn't recommend this one if you go, but wanted to at least give you guys the option. So moving on to the dark chocolate pretzel. That's more like it to me. Dark chocolate everything is great. This is the M&M cookie. We're warming up, that is on point. And then you get to, I think it's the chocolate peanut butter. Let's pretend I've never had this, but uh, I might've had one or two or 50 in my day. Can we please just have a moment guys? So, so good. And now we go to bed very satisfied, happy, don't feel like crap. I think this was my favorite food video that I've ever done, at least here in the house, it is for sure. I need to go to Whole Foods more often, but it's not gonna be an everyday thing, because it is, it is a little bit more expensive, but I think it's worth it. And I would consider this you know, a cheat day, even though it was cleaner foods, because you go over your caloric maintenance, and that, in my opinion, is what a cheat day is. So it just goes to show, I think the main take home point is, you can have a cheat with clean foods just like you can have dirty foods that aren't a cheat if it fits within your diet. So I think it's all just terminology, you know? But at the end of the day, I think this type of food makes you feel so much better. Well, maybe not the cookies, but that was a nice ending. But the, the other food, it just makes you feel better. Uh, that's, that's my opinion at least. Would love to know you guys' thoughts down below. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new. It was great to have you guys here. I look forward to talking to you next time.